We've been talking with Catherine Novikov about her history, her time in the military and starting a business, and also we're going to talk about her journey to find investments that support her family, her country, and her values. Uh, liberty, security, and values. Now, Catherine, you've had a, a history. You you built a business. You were a successful entrepreneur, um, and you learned a lot of lessons in all of that. Now I'd like to turn to what do you do? You sold your business, and now you've got some investment money. What do you want out of your investments? Most of all, I want my investment dollars to go to preserving and protecting the way of life that I've had the great privilege as an American to experience. I want to make sure that this country and the Western world and the world in, as, a, as a planet offers people the opportunity to use their talents to provide value to others and to do that in a way that allows them to support their family and to raise their children. I want my investment dollars to go to the continued cycle of positive, constructive business activity in the U.S. and abroad. Yeah, well, we've talked about this. Uh, you know, you're afraid, as I think we are and all our viewers are, that uh, that once great American system of uh, investing and so forth has been weaponized and is taking us that direction you did not want to go, what you saw in, in the Soviet Union and communism, rather than giving the opportunity like you enjoyed to build a business and to provide a good service and to help schools and all of that. Is, is that, am I putting words in your mouth? No, that's exactly right. Um, I have read both of your books and I pay quite close attention to global affairs and, and national affairs, and I don't like what I'm seeing at all. Um, people argue over what is going on and what it's called. It's not even helpful to worry about what label is on it, but there's a top-down sort of thinking. There's a top-down mentality that's, that's permeating the business world, Wall Street's view of the business world that is completely contrary to the entrepreneurial spirit. And even contrary to the principles that are necessary for, for entrepreneurial activities to thrive. Yeah, well, that's, you know, you're 18, you don't have the money to go to college, so you choose to go into the Air Force. And you served your country, which is awesome. Uh, but would you have been picked by elitists? If they were looking across, would they have found Catherine and said, all right, we're going to help, we're going to allow her to build and make a great business? Do you think you would have been picked? Most certainly not. And <laughs> I had nothing to show for me. I wasn't even a very good high school student. I was really rather a weak high school student, part of the reason that the military was an attractive it was good for alternative. You, yeah. But that's exactly right. I, I wouldn't have been picked. And yet I believe that in every in quite a large number of ordinary people who wouldn't be picked by any kind of elite top-down organization, there's talent and there's ideas and there's ingenuity, and, and that is the basis of our country. Yeah, there's something about America that draws out that spirit in people, and that's why people from around the world want to come here. Precisely so, and, and we've benefited from the entrepreneurial spirit of our naturalized American citizens from all over the world. Yeah, no, and it's good. We get talents. But what they all share in common, we hope, is a belief in individual liberty. 